Hello everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and these are going to be our 2020 year overview videos. These are extremely important because we are coming into an era that some people are coining the golden era, you know, a quest towards the golden consciousness, all of those things. So we're going to see a lot of density blowing out of our lives, out of our world, and it might throw you off a little bit. So I wanted to do these videos so that you could be prepared <laughs> and you could have your energy set so that, you know, as things start to unfold, you can go with the flow, you can observe without investing and you'll be okay. All right. These are not scary times. These are not, this is not a threat. These are not videos to be like danger, 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 watch out. No, 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 no. It's not about that. It's about being in your awareness. So through these videos, it's my hope and my intention that this gives you uh, some bit of good information, something that will help you per sign. <laughs> and that's just to divvy up the audience. That way I can focus in on different energetic groups and, you know, make sure you're watching for your sun, your moon, your rising. You might want to watch for your Venus sign, you know, whatever works for you. But hopefully the information that comes through is exactly what you need to hear throughout the year to help you remain centered and be able to roll with whatever's coming right? <laughs> so if you would like to get a personal reading with me, you can just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. I will leave information in the description box below on courses. I may be putting out some courses having to do with getting prepared for 2020 and lots of other things. There's tons, there's a huge library of stuff there. So go check that out. And of course, if you'd like to support me on Patreon, I'll leave all that information down below as well. If you want to just support me by subscribing and hitting that like, that's awesome too. So let's get into it. Hi there, Capricorn. We are going to see what's going on for you for 2020. But before we get started, please make sure that you go and watch my video on 2020 to 2024 that will lay the foundation for these readings. Okay. Also, we are not going to be doing too much of surface level reading today. This is about the higher consciousness and contributing to the greatest good. <laughs> All right. So let's get into it for you and see what's going on here. Okay, that should do it about right there. So we have War and Peace. Boy, you guys are not going to let go easily. Okay, so there's War and Peace, The Prophet, Confusion, all right, and Miracles. So it feels like for at least the first part of all this, you guys are not letting go easily. Um, wait, how did these go? The prophet then the miracles, I think. But anyway, this war and peace card, this talks about, I, it might even be January coming, hitting, and you're just in a scramble because you have really given into and maybe even pride yourself on, I'm really successful in my career. I'm a go-getter. I have accomplished so much in my life and it's this, 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 this. And then you get to a place, so there's the warm piece of, I don't care which direction the world is going in. I'm not following. You know what I mean? I have my success. Maybe this uh, this whole movement is just, sorry, my lens has been weird. <laughs> Let's try to get that focused again. There we go. Um, you know, I don't care, you know, if people want to pretend like success is a bad thing, it's just because they're not successful. Um, this whole shifting stuff is for losers who couldn't make it, right? And then you start to have, you know, these messages coming through. This is the third card, I think, that came out. But you start having these messages come through. Um, there could be a global kind of understanding that starts to unfold. And instead of this being uplifting and like, yes, I get it. Oh, I'm so ready for the path. Some of you, sorry, hi, lens focusing again. Some of you end up getting into this place of confusion. And, and you're just like, I don't understand this 2020 stuff. I don't understand what is happening to the world. I work so hard. I thought this was the path. I thought this was the recipe of life. I thought this is what you're supposed to do with yourself, right? <laughs> like, all of those things. And so there could be a bit of a scramble for you guys in your energy. As soon as you can start to 
decondition yourself. Now, here's what's funny. I've met a lot of you out in life, okay? And many of you are spiritual people, but it's always funny because at least the people I've met with this kind of energy, you always tend to take a business-like approach or a very like serious, grounded approach, maybe even, uh, dare I say, uh, an intellectual approach to your spirituality. Now, some of you are gonna rail against that, you take everything personally, okay, you think I'm talking directly to you, I don't know you, <laughs> so I can't possibly be talking directly to you, but um, give it some consideration before the ego gets in there and starts trying to tear it down and dismiss it because it's your year, it's your energetic opening, what are you gonna do with it? You gonna be here and just fighting everything? Is that, is that what you want for your life? Is that what feels good? You know, or do you want to give it some consideration? Do you want to go, you know what, maybe I do kind of clamp down and get a little dogmatic about my spiritual practice. Maybe I do go out into the world and think that because I accomplished, there's that word, accomplished, I accomplished a course or I accomplished um, a retreat or whatever, that makes me very plugged in, tuned in and uh, better than everybody else, right? And I'm not saying that you guys all think that you're above everyone, but I'm thinking of a lot of Capricorns that I know of that have just been so like, no, it's like this. I remember one Capricorn, it's just one Capricorn. Um, I was sitting having brunch with her. We're in this lovely place. We're all hanging out. We're having a great conversation. And she sat there and had to debate me about cord cutting. It was so stupid. And uh, she, again, we're in this lovely atmosphere and she's trying to diminish what I was saying. She was probably a little bit of a narcissist and I'm glad that I'm away from that person. But um, just had to kind of like poke at me and, you know, <laughs> you know, again, I'm not saying all Capricorns are narcissists. No, 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 I'm not saying that. But this particular one, I think she maybe was a little bit. Um, but she just wanted to have like an intellectual discussion about cord cutting and how it doesn't work. And I was like, well, the way you just said it, that's not, I started to get kind of confused and like, you know, kind of confusion, right? <laughs> confused and I couldn't really follow what her intention was. I couldn't really follow what she was trying to do because I'm in my heart center with my spirituality. So that doesn't always, you know, when someone wants to debate you and you're having to take that energy and put it up into your brain to try to be like, what, huh, what, now, what? Um, and then she went on to say that I had read all the wrong books and that she knows the good authors and that I should read the books that she's read because obviously she knows so much more than anybody else about spirituality. That's the kind of, that's an extreme example, but that is the kind of thing I'm talking about. Ask yourself, again, you're not like that person, I'm sure, but, um, you know, really check and see when it comes to my spiritual approach, do I not get into my higher consciousness and do I just try to intellectualize everything? Do I try to overanalyze? Because that keeps you disconnected. It keeps you disconnected from the information. So you might know it backwards and forwards, but you're not living it. And this is your year to figure that out. And here we go. So miracles, you're going to realize they're happening all the time. These are not things that you have to do all kinds of crazy stuff to bring in. Right? And you're going to start releasing yourself from your intellect. And they're actually saying that your intellect, uh, as the years go on, is going to feel more and more like a prison. And it, you are kind of hardwired, you know, with the timing of your birth to come in and experience those very aspects of life, to be very grounded, to be, um, you know, ready, go-getter kind of energy, right? To be very enthusiastic about accomplishing things um, and to be very successful. It's a drive and it's beautiful. And this is going to hit you hard. It's going to hit you a little bit where you're like, oh, now this doesn't count anymore. What? what? <laughs> okay. But if you come back in, you can start to realize, okay, life isn't about accomplishments. It's about being true. It's about being true to my soul. It's about being true and wanting to contribute to the higher good. All right. Now that might translate out into the surface of your life, right? Um, but for the most part, it's energetically we're shifting. Energetically we're putting and, and contributing our energy out to a collective energy. Okay. Let's get your color card now. <laughs> Oh, 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 did that just hit my microphone? <laughs> okay, so here we go. It flipped right out of the deck. We have blue, activate your healing power. The number is 37. So again, this goes hand in hand with that miracle card. 
because this is showing you what's real. This is showing what real power is. And we're gonna start taking the stigma off of the word power, right? Because right now, humans see power as whoever has the most money, whoever has the jet, whoever has the big title. I've known those people. I've wa I walked next to them. No, I mean, I have, but that's not my point. <laughs> I've worked next to those big, powerful people. And it's hard to be in a room with them sometimes because the energy is just so big and it feels like they're just on another planet that I don't know what to expect out of them. I don't know <laughs> if it would be put on, you know, put, put it under pressure for something, to explain something, I don't know. But um, they're not usually happy, right? And that's kind of what you guys are discovering. You're discovering your more cosmic beingness, <laughs> right? Your cosmic beingness. And that is where you're gonna connect in. So again, I, I feel like you guys aren't gonna completely hear this the first time you watch this video. So please watch it many times throughout the year. Um, because I think you're going to hear that and go, oh, I'm going to be even more special because all these weird cosmic downloads are going to happen for me. That's not what we're talking about here. Okay. We're not talking about trying to accomplish spirituality. It's something that you realize and remember about yourself. It's a tool to get back to you. So if you're skipping around that and still trying to make it all about the ego pursuit, you're going to remain in that warm peace like where you're, you're going to be back and forth between, okay, I'm happy, I'm not happy, I fit in this world, I don't fit in this world. All right, so we're gonna leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care.